Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. We got a video today from Shusi Zed. Doctors are exposing why BBL smells so bad. IG models are getting exposed. Please like subscribe below. I really appreciate that. Let's do that. Chow. Chow Time. All right. So the BBL chicks do not like my recent video about <laughs> BBLs trending because apparently they smell bad. And I understand it's a controversial issue. If you ask a lot of women, women in general, even the ones who don't have BBLs, you ask them what do men prefer, natural bodies or women with BBLs, they will tell you BBLs and they'll mean that. When countless of times we see those like street interviews of men answering that same exact question and they always say they prefer natural. Mm -hmm. what, <laughs> what they didn't want, apparently, what I'm finding out is they, a lot of these chicks didn't want men to start having this conversation about the smell with the BBLs. I know this because I saw this post oh. recently on TikTok. Here's what it says. It says, I was just informed about the BBL smell conversation going on between men. And so men are talking about this BBL conversation, which has been a conversation from what I understand for a while now. What have I learned so far? Because one thing I definitely got wrong is I kept on mentioning plastic inside like a woman's cheeks and i didn't even realize that they don't do that much anymore it's now usually fat regardless there's a lot of disgusting things that i didn't know that i found out for the first time number one being that a lot of chicks do have an order down there based on either when they first get it there's some type of discharge or fat and 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 all types of chemicals coming out and then later on a lot of these chicks don't know how to clean themselves because they're not used to having the oversized booty and they have to learn how to clean themselves. In case you didn't believe me, here's a doctor saying exactly that. Yes, check it out. Two secrets that Instagram models don't want you to know about their BBL. Wiping down there is gonna be a lot more difficult because there's more to reach around. So if you're around something with a BBL and they smell, well, when you see an Instagram model travel for a cheaper price, understand it's not quite as pretty on the way back. Example A, we hope they find a comfortable seating position. Let me know which procedure you want me to expose next. All right, so this just isn't any doctor. This is a plastic surgeon who's revealing secrets. And so this has been a conversation. I found videos from 2023, like for example, this one with the caption, when you go into the stall after a female with a BBL, y'all be stinking. Damn. God damn. There she is spraying with uh, disinfectant spray. And also I saw a bunch of comments from chicks in my comment section, just basically talking about how they've heard about this, but they weren't sure. And they're like, wait, is this true? Here's a, here's, here's what's interesting too, is that you have guys who have had experience with chicks with BBLs. And what it sounds like is it has a lot to do with the person's hygiene once they actually get the bbl and so Seems like it you got to be careful i told you guys how it was for me when i broke my arm so it was just harder to use my left hand i can't imagine having to reach back with like what four extra inches five extra inches of like girth trying to reach around that yeah that seems quite difficult here's a story in order for you to have a BBL, you have to stink for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's the sad reality of a BBL. I live in Miami. Miami, the BBL capital of... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just so we're not confused. The girl who spoke earlier, she was being sarcastic. She didn't say you have to stink for the rest of your life. But this guy is sharing about his experience dealing with chicks with BBLs in Miami, which is okay. like, has a high concentrated amount of women with BBLs. Let's listen. Of the world. We got some of the best and worst BBLs in the world. And in the club, sometimes it do little it do leave a little trail. Yeah. You know? Like we could be in the section and it could be like two or three BBL baddies. And you wondering like, look, like, who the hell got cheesy fries? Word. You know? Like who got their socks out? You know, something something don't smell right. It ain't the champagne, it ain't the Hennessy. Eating BBLs and when they bundle them together, yeah. it's like a trash pile. You know, not all of them, but you gotta understand, it's like physics. If you was a chick that was like, okay, so this guy might be, you know, be, just being sarcastic. Cause I'm looking at the comments here. All right, 
150, right? 150 pounds. And then you got a BBL. So the BBL made you probably like 170, 180. You name. What? BBLs at 20 pounds to people? Why would women want that? Well, that's crazy. Oh, shit. I didn't know it added that much weight to them. Jeez. Used to that go around. You feel me? That 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 that, that, that hand to back motion. You're not used to that extra twenty pounds back there. Right. So when you clean, I agree. You may miss a few little specs. You feel me? You know, I know a chick. She be doing waxing, and she be saying them BBL baddies be coming in with specs, and you know the the thong was supposed to be blue, but it's brown in certain sections. Oh no! They can't get that gold. Oh right. no! You understand me? So, oh no! Mm, yeah, that BBL do got a smell. I never liked BBLs, nor was like expecting to get one, you know, get a woman with one. Now it's like, for sure, no. Again, I told you guys on the last episode, I have an issue with smells. I'm like the weakest person when it comes to smells. You feel me? But if you could get through the what? back shot air, you know. It's Hold on. This guy says, get through the back shot smell with the question marks. That's a mission I don't ever want to embark on me too man so the guy that was talking about guys we keep on hearing a consistent theme here of trouble with wiping what's going on with the wiping ladies we need answers i'm gonna get so much hate i'm gonna get so much hate from the bbl chicks man uh we need answers what's going on i'll be i'll be i'll be genuine with this conversation i don't think that i think it's a case by case basis but it does sound like there are a lot more chicks who keep clean, but enough of them who don't. Be, and that's due to them having this extra girth. enormous uh, booty now that they have to learn how to clean that people notice, right? People notice. We hear a lot of people here giving uh, different pieces of advice. So that guy talked about somebody who did, who did waxing. And here's another chick who did like hair removal stuff and she talks about it. She made a first video that really wasn't that popular because she was trying to be vague, I'm assuming to protect the privacy rights of the people who she works with. In this video, she kind of went in more detail. Let's listen. Hey y'all. Okay, so first of all, you guys trying to put your foot on my neck to just outright say it. But because I work in a med spa, I am in a medical environment. So professionally, I cannot, there are some things I cannot outright say. I respect this woman. Yes, she may be a TikToker and stuff, but she is going by at least the Hippo, Hippocratic Oath. So I'm happy about that. But what I can say is, have I ever experienced a client um who did not shower who did not wash up who did not prepare for their appointment who came straight from working out to their uh facial or brazilian what? you know straight from working out come on laser hair removal appointment yes and i personally as an adult, I don't understand how people can be comfortable with doing that. I feel you. And I do find, because I have worked on both sides of the aesthetics field, doing luxury relaxation facials and doing now laser hair removal, I do find that clients are way more comfortable with you um, in the on the laser side. Okay. So she's had experience with it. Um, in this other video here, we have a woman who is a plastic surgeon as well. Ooh. Let's see what she has to say. Uh, this video is captioned, by the way, BBLs and body odor. Here we go. BBLs bleed. Now, let's turn that volume up. I can barely hear. Let's go. Not cause body odor. And no, huh. I don't care what. Hold on. Let me start from the beginning. So, so she has a different opinion. She said BBLs do not cause body odor. Here, let's listen. BBLs do not cause body odor. And no, I don't care what any man said about any woman. Don't tell that to me or I'm going to get very active. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm a certified nurse injector and the owner of Miser Medical and Wellness Parlor. Okay, let, let's let the certified injector explain to us. 
But Chisha, you, 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 you did listen to the other surgeon. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's listen. In Dallas, Texas, there has been quite some discourse around BBLs causing body odor, and honestly, that's all misinformation. And if you ask me, per I don't get how that's if misinformation. The the fact that you got a new body type and a new added on to your body, and you're not used to the the hygiene and cleanliness comes part of it. Again, I don't think it's false. I think this is actually quite true, because it's hard to get used to some of these things. Personally, I say it's the haters and the pick me's that have come together to fight women who want to do stuff with their bodies, but that's not the point of this video. Body odor is caused by bacteria feeding on sweat that is made by our apocrine glands. Our apocrine glands. Exactly. So your cheeks are bigger, it has more areas of sweat that can just bacteria can build up between your cheeks. It makes sense. It makes sweat that contains water salt boring moving on okay so we have another guy here this guy also disagrees he's like hey it depends it's a case by case basis type situation i can agree about that so my guy don p says bbls stink i've had multiple women with bbls they don't stink my dude now the women who have the bbl might stink it sounds like you had a case of some bad cooter and that makes for a hell of a story time. So that's in response to the first video where I reacted to the guy who said, you know, BBLs had a smell to him, which he still went to pound town, by the way, that did not stop. <laughs> he saw that through to the end. Hey, that's crazy, but Hey, you do have a case of hard booty, tough skin with them BBLs. But as far as like odor, I don't think I've ever witnessed bad odor from a BBL. Leave it in the comments. If you've heard that BBLs stink, hey, leave it in the comments. I want to know. Tag somebody. Let's check out these comments. I wish I read more comments. I'm going to do some comments right now. Okay, so first one here says some people don't wash properly without BBLs. Here's somebody who's, oh, they're talking about it doesn't matter even without BBLs. That is true. That is true. It's not, lichen hygiene is just not limited to women who have BBLs. Correct. Right? If you are sexually active, you probably had experiences with chicks who- There's a lot of women that don't shower every day. I've dated like two or three women that don't shower every day. They shower like every other day, which is kind of weird to me. I shower like every day. Don't have a BBL and if you smelling all types of craziness down there. Um, let me see here. Another person here says if she doesn't receive poor, uh, if she doesn't receive proper aftercare, there should be some developing issues such as an odor. So it does happen. Ooh. Is there like a regimen you have to follow here? Somebody else who says maybe he's referring to the surgery smell. Oh, there we go. All right, we talked about that. Yeah. So there this. is definitely a smell. Um, I don't know. After reading all these comments and getting more information, I'm led to believe that though it may seem like the BBL smell thing is a case-by-case -case study, to men who are out here drooling over all these Instagram models that you see online, remember that you don't know. You don't know. She may not be as clean as you think. Here's one thing. Here's one thing. I'm glad I thought about that. Could there be a correlation between a person who got that body naturally? Because, you know, you get one part of your life in order, like your health and your fitness. Then you're going to care about yourself. You're going to care about your environment. You're going to take care of yourself better. In most cases, you're going to shower more. You care about you. You're taking care of you. Versus a person who looked like absolute shit one day made no life changes besides getting flown out to Dubai, getting the cheeks clapped, came back with money, put the down payment down, put a down payment down for a BBL, and then changes their body. Could there be a, a disconnection there with you didn't do the inner work, and so you're still living in a hell, an unhealthy life, not hitting the gym, eating food that's bad for you, all types of stuff. I can see that. But be careful, man, as you're out here and realize that the chick that's thirst trapping 
just may not be all that fresh, clean, and pretty. Shout out to Sushi Seth for doing this story. I see a lot of these videos out now about, you know, the BBL smelling. And it's crazy that these women kind of knew about it. And they're upset that we're, that men, us men are discussing it now because it was swept under the rug. And now we got to lift up that rug and smell that dirt. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.